previously on Preps. Sean Dockley Jr. Blown out by the arch rival. In, in my six, seven years here, no one's ever beaten us that bad at home. And Sean taking it like a man. Pay no man, it's hard to, you know, Think about, I mean, hard to just lose focus of a game like that, but you got to put it to the pass and, you know, go on. And Eddie Curry out of tune. Turn it up. Even the number one player in the country can have a bad day. Oh! He got to redeem himself now. Let's prep. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Uh, uh, yeah. In Chicago, high school basketball is more than just a game. It's a dream that starts on the playground. Where you can carve a path to glory. Hundreds hope, few make it. These are their stories. I'm Eddie Curry, 6'11", 290 pound center, throwing with Thunderbirds. My name's Kyle Kleckner, 6'185 185-pound shooting guard from Downer Grove North High School. I'm Sean Docker, I play for Julia High School. Point guard, I'm a junior, I'm 18 years old. The preps of Chicago Hoops. <laughs> Sean docker has got two big tests coming up this week. American history, yeah, that one he's ready for. But the other test, it's going to be tough, real tough. This one's to find out who's the best point guard in Chi-Town. They call him the Thrill. Lil' Will Bynum, 5'11 with a 42-inch vertical. Nice, real nice. Plays for the Crane Cougars and has all of Chi-Town thinking back to the days of Isaiah. So who is the best point guard in Chi-Town? Ain't nothing I don't comment on stuff like that. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of good point guards in the city. Uh, I was told you always should put yourself at the best whenever you do something. So I guess I, I, I suppose to put myself at the best, but it's a lot of point guards real good out there. He, he runs our program, and uh, that's what I think, being a point guard in high school and college, and that's what I think point guards should, should do, is run, run programs. Will is a guy that, that hates to be shown up. He's a guy that hates for you to get the best of him. I, I think, uh, again, with Will, there's not a whole lot of things he doesn't excel in. If you take a look at how Will plays and you look at how Sean plays, they're so different. They're almost opposite the way that they play the game. And I think both of them want to have some of the other one's qualities, but they still want to be themselves. So I think that's where that rivalry started. So certainly there's a rivalry if Dockery picks up the paper and there's a huge story on Bynum. He says, where's mine? I want my props. So there's a rivalry there. There's a rivalry from the two different high schools. One's on the south side. One is on the west side, so there's a built-in rivalry. I think Sean does a better job at this stage of running his team. Well, Sean is more of a, he likes to get everyone involved in the game. But on the other side, you have probably one of the most exciting, dominating uh, guys I've ever seen, you know, in the mode of that Isaiah Thomas, that Tim Hardaway, you know, that Nick Anderson type guy, guy that can just totally dominate the game, and that's real the thrill by them. They didn't put the thrill on it, uh, just by accident. I mean, he's a kid that plays in the summer league and has the pros standing up oohing and on. I mean, he could do so much with a basketball, he could just completely take over a game. I watched Will this summer shaking him up, man, at the right. AM, man. Um, right, right, right. right. That's, a cold, that's, a, that's a cold little man. That's a cold little man, can score. He got the game, man. Um, go to the next level, you know, people always talk about size and stuff like that, but you can accommodate for that. Kid can play ball, flat out play ball. Will has just been playing spectacular. Uh, has had a tremendous season thus far, uh, so much so that uh, he now ranks as our number two ranked uh, player in the senior class behind Eddie Curry. Will's a very complicated young man. 
Uh, he's very talented. Uh, there's not a whole lot of things Will cannot do. He comes through for his team all the time, you know. He just he shows people what they want to see. I think he's, he's good at that, showing people what they want to see. That's probably the difference between us. I just want to come out there and win and everything. Okay. So Sean Dockery is more of a true point guard. Um, he'll give up the points, he'll give up the flashy moves because he wants to make sure his team wins. Whereas Will Bynum is the kind of point guard that wants to take over a ball game. He can win it by himself, he knows he can do it by himself, and he waits for those times in a ball game where, okay, it's time for the Will Bynum show, get out of my way, I'm taking over. Man, right now, from what I've seen, Lil Will do some stuff that Ally not even doing, you know, and I'm a big Iverson fan. Yeah. Lil Will, one of the realest true point guards you're gonna ever see, man. Yeah. The stuff that he brings to the table on the court, man, you might not ever see that again. Aaron Davis, Allen Iverson, Steve Francis, mm -hmm. Stephon Marbury, them look, the, and Kobe Bryant. You know, they're about the only people I like watching in the NBA. I think I got a little bit of everybody in. Right. All the good point guards, you know. Right. I got a little bit of everybody. So, I don't think it's just one person, because I still all they move. Will, Will, Will the type of player, well, he just come whenever, it might be a camera there or something, Will come to show off, Sean come to win a game, and that's what it's all about in the end. And that's what college coaches look for as far as a, a, a recruit and a point guard. They look for a person or a guard that's, that's coming in ready to play the game and, and knows how to control his team, and I think that's what he does better than a lot of point guards in the city. When, when you see a Will Bynum, you see a guy that, he can get control the tempo of the game with his uh, fancy dazzling dribble. Yeah, with his Will is obviously this. rookie year. Shout out right. to Iverson this year. Right. He's, you he can get just it. Just like Allen Harvison. <laughs> you see how Allen Harvison had to mold himself into being a great point guard, a great two guard as he is now in the league. And Sean Dockery has already, already found this rhythm with <laughs> controlling the team and controlling the tempo. <laughs> The mighty Crane Cougars busted up the Red West Division back in the 80s. After a decade of disappointment, Lil Will has brought them back into the running for a city championship. Number one. Uh, Will has to lead us. Again, if Will's on his game, you know, we're, we're tough to beat. I knew that they was, they was they had, I knew they had a nice young team then, and they had Javon and I knew they was young. Right. And I wanted to go somewhere where I can lead the team. Okay. Okay. And be a go-to guy. Okay. He thinks in his mind he's already the best then. He feels he doesn't have anything to show. So, but once he figures this thing out and uh, he comes to play every day, you know, uh, he, he's really going to be something special. When he's on his game, uh, there, there's no one can do anything to him. So who is the best point guard in Chi-Town? You already know who it is. It's me. Yeah. I approve mine's on the court. Yeah, I ain't got time to be talking all. We'll see when we play again. I hate baby. So who is the best? We're going to prove this thing on the court. Sean Dockery and Will Bynum. Julian and Crane coming up. Will Bynum is one mobile young brother. Been playing ball around Chi-Town South Side, West Side, North Side, and East Side. It's amazing he knows which way is up when he wakes up in the morning. Well, I remember the times when he was bouncing that ball in the house. Mm -hmm. Will been playing since he was like, what? I say 10, 10 maybe. Okay. His father used to play ball. Okay. And uh, he had an uncle, David. He, he also played ball. So he had some competition when he was coming up. And he had to prove to them at a young age, you know, that he could play. Okay, Let me brothers? play with you. Well, I played everywhere. I played a, I played a lot of uh, since the 3rd of Hayes. Right. I played a lot on uh, 55th. Okay. King Drive. Okay. Okay. I played some everywhere. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, it was it's cool. Just playing against older guys, I always try to push you around and stuff. So I got used to it once I got older and stronger. Wasn't nothing they could do with me. When he's not playing ball, he eat, drink, and sleep basketball. He's looking at ball. Or he's reading about ball. Well, sometimes I, you know, just feel that they, you know, they don't give him the props. But I guess, you know, when they, when he's underrated, you know, in my book, he's always tops. I think the, the Chicago competition is the best competition. Them guys, when you go other places, they, some of them may be good, but most of them, they just average ball players. But since they came from a small town or whatever, they getting a lot of publicity. So, but you can't do nothing about that. Most of the players from Chicago will be underrated anyway. I go up to the Jordan Center and they give me a good workout. And I run off screens and ball handling, defense, everything. At all times, can't, get a, can't let nobody get ahead of him. This was his dream a long time ago. And, uh, so many people in Chicago that supported him when he was little, and now on, now he's uh, 18. I'm proud of him. All I can say is that, yeah, hey, go Will. Out of all of the great guards in the state, Will Bynum, uh, in my mind, has the best scoring ability. Very little that he cannot do offensively. There are times where uh, he still needs to show a little bit more of a point guard mentality. Bynum tries to impose his will on you. He's just, you know, like they say, like the kids say, he's a dog. He's just going to try to dog you out, going to try to make you just humble you on the court. I just think Will, you know, Will has the ball in his hands. He's, he's you know, Will the thrill. He's a, he's a dynamite one-on-one -on -one player. He can score. He's strong. He's explosive. Will come right out the gate trying to take over. He's trying to destroy you from jump ball. Will's getting his books on as well, getting it done off the court. Oh, this semester coming up, brother, you're like, I'll be, no, I'll be studying. I got ACT, all this disc and stuff on the computer. Okay. So okay. I'll be working hard for that, too. My mom, my family, they're, they're the most important thing to me besides basketball. Making sure she all right, you know, and that thing going well and she's feeling good. That's really the most important thing in my life besides basketball. And my books, I got to keep my books up. Nah, I still got a long way to go. Right? that. it's smooth now. It's pretty cool. Next year, Will will be breathing the clean desert air in Tucson. The Arizona Wildcats, Luke Olsen and the Pac-10 complaining about the dry heat or something. I think that Will certainly has the ability to become the next great point guard to come out of the University of Arizona. Will is much more of a showman. Will likes to play to the crowd. He's a moth. He loves when the television lights are on. And that's great. Primetime players do that. And I think he made a good choice. The way Arizona allows their guards to dominate, he's a perfect fit. You going to Arizona? No, he ain't, ain't going to face nothing in Arizona. He said it Arizona. He ain't going to face nothing in Arizona that he ain't face it. Right. It's, it's about the competition going to get weak for him. Right. He didn't been through the city. Right. He ain't, ain't going to see nothing in Arizona that they ain't going to show him nothing. They ain't going to surprise him. He got to go to the league to see that. Yeah, he got to no, real, real special ball player. Real special ball player. Okay. It don't get no bigger than that. Right. And plus, the coaches was real. I liked the coaches when I went, when I went down there. Yeah. Okay. And they was real cool, and you know, they kept it, they, they kept it real with me. All the other coaches, right. you never know, right? But they kept it real with me, let me know what I need to work on and what and where I'm at, where they gonna, you know, what situation I'm having when I go down there. It's a hectic time for uh, uh, him because he's 17 years old. You know, he during that time when the recruiting was and. And I know it's it's a lot of you know competition in all these different schools and stuff. I let him go ahead on and make his decision about that because I know he he he's read about it. He knows you know what he has to go up against, and he knew what he wanted to do. Yeah. It all come. I know 
God worked so hard, I know one day it is gonna pay off. Payoff time has arrived. Will and Sean about to battle with Chi-Town's bragging rights on the line. Get ready, y'all. Today we play Crane. It's a real big game. Everybody watching us. There's a lot of people out there looking forward to see some good stuff. I'm not letting none of the paper stuff get to me. I'm just focused right now. Coach Jordan, anything you want to say to you guys when we leave? So again, bring you out this opportunity. Let's go out here and take advantage of it. Play well. Fellas, we need to win. We need to get back on track for money. We got our work cut out for us. Again, we have four games in seven days. So that means you guys have to get your rest. You can't be out running the streets at night or whatever it is you do when you ain't going to bed. The place was hyped for Julian Crane. Sean versus Will with the point guard public league bragging rights on the line. It's going to be one of those games people are going to talk about for a long, long time. So Sean Dockery from Julian High School is a south side basketball player. Will Bynum is from the west side. So when they do clash, when their teams clash, it's not only two teams and two individuals, it's two parts of the city going against each other. And in the stands, you'll see people south side, south side, west side, west side, back and forth, back and forth. It's, it's really uh, exciting. There is, you know, that type of rivalry. Uh, even with Will and Sean, it's respect. Um, I think throughout the city, uh, there is a respect level that coaches have for each other and that players have for each other and programs have for each other. And I think that uh, it's healthy and it's, it's good to have a uh, high competitive competition. If anything, just to you know, make him fake like he was gonna shoot. All he wants to do is up fake. Okay. Defensively, I think if we keep the pressure, eventually these guys will crack. Now, offensively, we're doing a pretty decent job and stuff, man. We're putting the ball where it's supposed to be. You guys got to remember when that ball is trapped, whoever this guy is in the corner, we need people in two spots: on the block and in the middle. Aggressive team, you'll kill them with pump fakes all the time. The other thing is we, we got to attack the basket. We'll start going to the hole, man. Get, get, get yourself involved in the game. Once you get going, that jump shot, you come back to it. They running out of that kid anyway. Give them that good up. Go around them and stuff. They don't do nothing before you. The, the other thing, fellas, and I say it every game, if we got numbers, we looking to run. Wait, we just trying to win, fellas. All right, my bad, Sam. All right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we, 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 we going to go back out. I think it's their ball. <clears throat> Let's go, let's go. Offense, let's get the ball in the middle. We score every time we get the ball in the middle of the floor. Let's go. One, two, three, get it!
south side and west side meet, you know things going to get heated. And Sean's pop is right in the middle of it, keeping order. Still 41 seconds left, baby. We got a whole ball in the stands. With the game on the line, time for Sean Doc to do his thing. Took it to Lil' Will, and won. Sean drops the dime to Martise Williams and puts Julian up for good. Coach Longstreet has one last chance. Little Will can't get it done this time. It was a real, real hard game. A lot of people there. You no, know, it was emotional and everything. It was a, it was a tough battle though. He came out of one by two though. The Julian game, it was, it was all right. I, ain't, I wasn't really playing. I was playing, but. I wasn't playing assertive. I wasn't playing hard. Right. But they they creep, they got us. They yeah. came from behind and got us at the end. Okay. But we oh we gonna get them back. Okay. okay. So it ain't yeah. over yet. Coming up on Preps. The everyday life of Cottage Grove. Meet Martise Williams and the neighborhood he can't stay away from. I'm giving around here. Huh? I don't think we want to smell that stuff. It's basically your life, man. See what happens when one of the best teams in the city invades the suburbs. It's going to be rough. But it's bringing kids together and letting kids know that they are so they are more the same than they are different. Next time on Preps. I'm the king of the black top, pooping half court shots. I come correct and stats to whack compared to points that I drop. I play to win and I'm playing for keeps. In the gym of 21 on the streets, I'ma keep bringing the heat, mad skill. My squad runs circles around your team. I'm keeping my game tight and fulfilling my ball and dreams. Set up shop, correct it, never reject it. The ball game is mine and you will respect it. We play for keeps, my team don't sleep. Leave you choking from the dust that propels from my feet, mad skill. My squad is letting you know the deal. We got mad that game for real. We play for keeps. My team don't sleep. Leave you choking from the dust that propels from my feet. Mad skill. My squad is letting you know the deal. We got that 